Derek was a pleasure to work with always. Derek, um, the thing about Derek was he understood what we did because that's how he got into it. He was a brilliant model maker. He was a brilliant artist. And, you know, if there was something to be done on set, he'd mess in with everybody and join in. And I remember him painting the back in Mountain Backdrop. And, you know, with, with a few wipes and a brush, there was these real snow-covered mountains. And so it was a real joy to work with him from that point of view. And he had a, he had a, he had a real eye for it and nothing... He was one of those people that knew when enough was enough. And that's why when Derek directed a model unit, it looked like a massive amount of stuff had been done. And it had, but it hadn't been overdone and, 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 and done to the point where that wasn't necessary. And the great thing about Goldeneye, I mean, that set, the Sephaniya set, for instance, uh, with the radar station and the MiG crashing into it and all the snow and the helicopter taking off the mountains in the background. Yeah, it was a fairly simple model layout. I mean, it was big, but there were there were rostrums with bits and pieces of, of, of the set, the radar dish and the shed and the snow in places and the helicopter landing pad and the mountains in the background. But if you looked from that or at that from any other angle to the way the camera saw it, you would see gaping holes in the set and the layout of it because, you know, that bit didn't need to be done because we were never going to see it. And the mountains in the background, they were all cut out of plywood, all on scaffolding, they were painted to look like mountains, layers upon layers, like cardboard cutouts. And the radio control model took off, flew around the dish and it looked for real. Uh, it was actually quite interesting because the whole set was covered in dendritic salt to simulate snow and the day that we were due to shoot on it, it snowed overnight. <laughs> and it actually overdid the whole thing. You couldn't see anything for real snow. And we had a big problem with the fly model because it was, it was um, about eight foot rotor span. I would imagine it was fairly, fairly big chunk. It was so cold and frosty that the salt was melting the snow, but kicking up enough dust and all the paper snow that was on the set that it was forming a crust on the rotor blades. And we could only fly it so far before they become so unaerodynamic and out of balance that we had to land the model again. Um, but, I mean, we got that shot and it looks fantastic. And there was a load of stuff that we did on there. I mean, the Arecibo dish and um, the fly model mix. I mean, we, I, I was involved with them. I did the big, the big scale model of the Eurocopter for the ejection sequence, uh, which <laughs> that was quite funny because we got Irving, Irving parachutes to make two miniature parachutes for that. Um, actually, they made four, and it's a good job they did because... The idea was that we would put um, airbrush propellant, cans of airbrush propellant inside the tube and we'd put a little bit of cortex around those cans so that we could split them and a rush of air would pop the parachutes out very quickly uh, and that, that pod was going to be dropped from a crane and we would blast these parachutes out. Well, they, at that time, when there was all this fuss about CFCs making a hole in the ozone layer, they changed the mix of airbrush propellant and it was like propane. So when we popped the cans, there was these huge big fireballs that melted the two parachutes. So for the next night, we had to come up with a different idea to pop the parachutes out so that they opened and didn't burn. It was really funny. Uh, and, and, and I'd made two pods. They were pretty lightweight and pretty rudimentary compared to the ones on the on the main, like close-up hero model. The train, the tank, <laughs> space stations, and satellites, aeroplanes. Golden I had a massive, massive amount of models in it, and I think probably getting on for 50, 44, 45. And uh, we, I mean, we worked for about 10 months on the model unit on that. So it was a massive big build.